Hi, I'm Tom Hughes. Thanks for watching Red Wings Channel 6. From Red Wings Public Library, Randy Decker. Haven't had you over here for a while. Yeah, we've been busy over there, and I haven't had a ton to announce, but now we have some new things some we're quite stuff. excited about. Yeah. Tell yeah. us about the portable reading ability. Yeah, for some time now, we've had people interested in checking out actual physical e-readers. Instead of electronic books you can get now to put on your own device, they've been asking about checking out the actual devices themselves. So we went about planning that for a while, and now we actually have them. We have Kindle e-readers, um, which we have stocked. We have six of them. And oh, these those are, are nice. Yeah, little e-readers like this. And I know some people say, I want to hold on to a book. I read stuff on my phone. Yeah. And it's fine. Yeah, it works great. And th these are especially good for you on vacation. You don't want to take oh, a stack geez. of 100 books. Yep. and um, Drop it in the ocean. Yep, yep. So these are, these are good for travel. Um, and they're also good for another reason. Um, there are a number of authors now that are writing short stories and novellas and things like that that we can't collect in print, but we've been buying those and putting them on oh, the Kindle. Oh, exclusivity. Nice. Yeah, the other thing we've been doing on these Kindles that are a little different from what we do on for buying for the regular books is we can take more chances because we're haunting the uh, book deals the freebies, the 99 centers, the dollar 99, and getting authors that maybe are starting um, or maybe aren't as widely known but can be quite good. So we're giving people the opportunity to try those out too. And then we're also buying things. Sometimes uh, publishers will put the first book in a uh, really good series on sale because they want to entice people to buy the others. Oh, sure. So we'll get that. Sometimes they put, um, when an author has a new book coming out, they'll put their old ones on sale. So we're really focused on, on price on these things and getting lots of books. But that's great. And we have six of them. So we have a romance Kindle, and we have a couple mystery Kindles, and we have a nonfiction, we have kind of a general fiction, and a science fiction fantasy horror. So, oh, so there's a category of Kindles. Yeah. So we thought, we asked people, we actually put this out on Facebook and asked some patrons and said, well, would you like each one to have a mix, or do you like ones that are more specific to a particular genre? And the, really? the preference was strongly for the genre. Really? Ones, I'm surprised. So, well, yeah. that's neat, though. Yeah. So, um, so we can read anything that's on the Kindle. Yes. And so, like I said, the romance one has over 100 books, so does science fiction. Other ones have fewer, but we're continuing to buy um, as we get good deals. Um, and so they'll, the collection will continue to accumulate. So. so if I check one of those out, how long do I get to keep it? Um, it's just like normal, a couple weeks. Um, and so, but, you know, as with all our, our stuff, if you're going on vacation, you're going to be gone a little longer, we can extend those checkouts oh, at the right. time. Um, these are only available to patrons of the Red Wing Library. We don't ship them out to other libraries in the region. So they're just for our folks. And I'm guessing we have to sign something before we've checked yeah, this out, exactly. just in case so, something happens. And, and that's more we, we teach people. So in case people haven't used an e-reader before, we teach them how to use it. Oh, good. And also just so they know what all comes with it and how they're supposed to take care of it. And, you know, don't, don't read it when you're eating a peanut butter jelly sandwich and use your finger on it. And What? So many restrictions. Yeah, don't return to the book drop so they get 300 pounds of books piled on top of them and crush them. So just um, common sense things, but we sure. just like to make yep. sure we've gone well, through. Well, it makes sense. Good. Yeah. Good. Yeah, yeah. What else is new? We've actually launched a new program that allows people to sign up for their favorite authors, and then we will automatically request them the moment we buy a book by that author. So right now, excuse me, right now, um, say you're a big fan of, of David Baldacci, right? Um, and then you hear maybe through a newspaper article, he's got a new book out, but the article came out like a month after the book. And so you go put your name on the list and you're way down waiting the list. Waiting and waiting and waiting. Or maybe yeah. you just didn't yep. hear about it at all. He's got a new book out that you never learned about. So with this program, you can pick up to 10 authors um, from a list we, we provide. And then we will automatically request, anytime we buy a new book by them, we'll just put that request on for you right at the time we buy it, which means you're going to be really near the top of the list. Ooh, nice. Now, um, you know, obviously sometimes you're going to have a situation where multiple people sign up for the same author. And what we do every time we a new book comes out is we randomize the order. So it's not going to be the same person being first on the list. So it'll be, you'll have an equal chance to be first because yeah, everyone well, else has signed good. up for that author. Good. So and how are we alerted? Um, you come and knock on my yeah. door? <laughs> uh, well, we're working on that. Maybe drones. We'll send a, <laughs> nice. play a little plane. Oh, there's a library. <laughs> yes. No, um, for this program, we're notifying people by email and by text. And that ties into something else we're trying to do, which is um, cut costs. Now, we I would think it's expensive to mail everything out. You are exactly right. We spend um, over a couple thousand dollars a year mailing notices to people to tell them their book's here or something's due or things like that. Um, and we're happy to do that if someone doesn't have email or, or text. But what we're trying to do is convert people to email and text because for a couple of reasons. One, it'll save you know money that we can sure. spend on more you books. You don't have to look as many stuff. stamps. Exactly. Yeah, it's, it's, it gets mm -hmm. old. We have volunteers do that. So. Oh. <laughs> um, 
So it'll, it'll save money. It's also a lot faster. So when when something a book comes in, if you signed up for an email notice or a text notice, you if get. If I a, hear the ding on my phone, I know something's coming. And it's out. within an hour or two of the time it hits our library. Cool. But because of some changes the U.S. Postal Service has made to bulk mailing, it can be five, six days before oh. you get the notice in the mail. So it's a lot faster. So it saves us money. It saves you time. Um, it's better for the environment because you don't have all the trash of the mailing and stuff like that. So it's kind of a win, win, win. Um, so we're really hoping to push people to to that uh, get their notices by email or, or text. Great idea. Okay. That's what's going on at the Red Wing Public Library. If you want to know more, they're on the web page, aren't you, on the Internet? Yep. Redwing.lib.mn.us. Or you can just Google Red Wing Public Library. Be the Either way, yeah. Upscore backslash <laughs> yeah, <exactly>. 735. <laughs> He's Randy Decker, and I'm Tom Hughes. Thanks for watching Red Wing's Channel 6.